Happy Friday, everybody. I am going to explain to you why I think dating apps have been a flop. Mostly because so few women are on there. Why is that? Because we ladies are on so many apps for so many things. We have so many apps on our phones and the internet is a great place to find other services to shop for groceries, <laughs> uh, restaurants, uh, clothes, to look for a realtor, a mechanic, a massage therapist, a doctor. But why do women not want to be on dating apps to look for men? Okay, so I want to also acknowledge that men have a negative experience on dating apps as well, mostly because so few women are on the apps. And even when they do come across a woman, men are very likely to come across scams. Someone who's a catfisher, uh, someone like a sugar baby or an OnlyFans model just trying to get his money, or psychos. Because nobody on there is vetted. Unlike other apps where you are looking for a business, the dating apps are free for all, where anyone can just throw up a profile. I can't think of any other place on the internet or on an app where the product you're searching is completely unvetted. Completely unvetted. Anyone can be there. And that is a prime reason that women don't like it. It's the Wild West. But there's more to it. Because we do like our men a little bit wild. I can picture a lumberjack. I know I've talked about the Marlboro Cowboy. It's not because he's smoking. But women just like strong men who will go into the wilderness. <laughs> Look at romance novels. Okay, I don't read them, but apparently many women like romance novels because you have this hero. He's strong and he's adventurous and he's charming and courageous and he goes into far off lands and fights battles and then he comes home to be with us. He chooses us. And that's what women want. A masculine man who's courageous, strong, fit, kind and who chooses us and that is not what is on the dating apps now i'm going to explain to you more why now i put the camera this way because everyone thinks i'm so tall i'm five two and a half i am tiny 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 so i figured if i put the phone up so i'm looking up you might think you might get the idea that i'm tiny because people are always like you look so tall i'm not tall Okay, now I personally, and I think many ladies will agree, I like the strength of a man. Okay, if I wanted to be with someone soft and submissive, I would be gay. <laughs> okay, I like what I like about men, I like the strength of a man, I like the way that a man dresses, I like a man who's safe and kind and has social skills. Pretty much who is physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy, as I've talked about before. And what turns women on? I love seeing like those construction workers or some of the guys who have YouTube videos because they're, they're, they're well-dressed and well-spoken and interesting. They have their own thing going on. Uh, someone who's interesting, right? It could also be the romance hero. And we want a guy who's safe and who's vetted and who's interested in us personally. Like, if, if I see a good looking guy in a restaurant, let's say, and I think, oh my God, he'd be really interesting, but he's flirting with some other girl, I'm not interested. Or he's checking out all the women, I'm not interested. I want to be chosen. So that that's an inborn biological trait that makes us uh, choose a man that has chosen us because a man who's chosen me not not a creep but a guy that I'm interested in is going to be a better partner because he's chosen me so that's one thing I really look for in guys is that I'm chosen I want to see signs that I'm chosen that he's personally interested in me okay 
Now, that is not on the dating app because the guys are not reading the profile. So I'm, I never feel chosen. And to me, that is a huge, huge turnoff. And I get so annoyed by the likes because you haven't chosen me. You haven't even read my profile. I'm not chosen. I don't think that men realize what a turnoff that is because there are more things that are wrong with sending likes but one is that you haven't chosen me because if you've chosen me you would have read my profile and left a comment now I have received comments but they're also very lame I'm gonna to get to that now in real life until the dating apps came along every boyfriend I had I met him in real life and I, I admired him the way I saw him either at school at work somewhere in the neighborhood I admired him and he was vetted okay so my first boyfriend was someone from work he was vetted he was actually had a managerial job where I worked so he was vetted the he was vetted from the same company where I worked this is why women also like men in uniform one reason they have authority and they're vetted the Marine Corps hired you the fire department hired you this restaurant hired you so you are vetted you're not just some bum on the beach okay so you're vetted you go to my school so you're vetted you I met you let's say at my friend's wedding we have the same friends vetted I, I, I hope that men understand how much um, comfort and more of a turn on it is for a man who's vetted okay so you're vetted we see you in our same environment over and over and over that creates familiarity we can admire you the way you handle a project at work the way you deal with the customers you know how you walk and how you move to me a big thing is how a man walks and moves Let's see now I have my phone tilted so you can't see my posture but I have good posture I'm not trying to stick out my boobs here but I have good posture and I like men who have good posture and not like walking all hunched over and having trouble walking like signs of physical health okay when we are around each other also there's the pheromones and none of that is available when people are marking themselves through pictures like in real life I can see how you talk how you move how you interact with other people you're vetted and if I like you and then you're interested in me whoa that is like so exciting and when okay I want to say a few more things that's really what women look for I think at least that's what I look for men are not that picky they're like is she hot <laughs> is she hot is she pretty and they're they're kind of interested not enough maybe to start a conversation but that goes to the other element which I'm going to talk about is the laziness that a lot of men have gotten into the cowardice and the laziness and the fear of talking to women um, but men are not that picky I had a really good comment today on one of my videos which I want to read to you now where uh, a gentleman is explaining what men really need to do okay this comment is from home fry Niles 3983 on my video how modern society makes men less attractive to women I'm going to link that up here. He said, Charizard, I can't agree more with your analysis. Economy, jobs, the sissification of men, and I will add pure laziness. The reason I'm reading his comment is it goes to the laziness part. And guys, if you want to get women, you can't be lazy. Okay, the same effort that you put into building a bridge, fixing your truck, going through law school, um doing your yard work training for a marathon lifting heavy weights applying for a job opening a business climbing a mountain that same energy 
you have to put that into getting a woman. Because when you're just sitting there on your phone swiping, you're lazy. And that's a turn off. That is a turn off. Okay? Some women don't know any better. They're glad to get any attention. But to a woman with options, women with options are not on those apps, by the way. Okay? They might have tried them and gotten off. What do I mean with lazy? Okay, now he, he explains in his comment. I tell guys who I'm close to are ineffective that there is no easy way to have self-respect. A man has to work on it even in the simplest ways every day. I tell guys, shave your face every day. Shower, you stink. Wear real shirts with no wrinkles. Get a pair of real leather lace-up shoes and shine them. Wake up and make your bed. Exercise. Have an opinion. Make more money. Dig deep and know your feelings, but for God's sake, don't express them to everyone. Be strong. Face the unknown. Make your ethical rules to live by and then challenge yourself. Book recommendation, Elevate and Dominate by Dion Sanders. Elevate and Dominate by Dion Sanders. Okay, that is a really good comment because he's right. A lot of men have become very lazy. Not you guys. I'm talking about the guys on the dating apps, okay? Uh, society has become very casual. Now, when I, when I was married, uh, my ex-husband, he ironed his shirts. Eventually, I just took them to the cleaners, but he would iron his shirts in the morning. So we had a, a box with all the shoe shine stuff and the boar's brush. He would uh, polish his shoes and shine them. He always wanted his shoes to be polished. He, he had spent a couple years in the army, so he had learned like how to... Of course, he was raised well, too. What am I saying? But um, he dressed like a real man. He wore a dress shirt, pants with a belt, nice pants. Um, now, as far as shaving every day, I do like a one-day stubble. But the point is, you want to be accountable and be responsible. And most men do all that. But that effort that you put into your job, we want that same energy directed at us. Here is a man that shines his shoes, irons the shirt, goes to work, kills it at, at the office, and he chooses me. Because if it's just some random guy in a dive bar choosing me, that's, I don't want some riffraff. I don't want riffraff, and I don't want a guy who swipes on every woman. And that's the problem with the dating apps, because these lazy men not understanding women will just throw up a bunch of photos which are mostly very lame photos and swipe on every woman who's at least a three out of ten hoping he within a 300 mile radius that he has a chance at getting laid he doesn't even bother with the profiles now that is why women don't want to be on those apps not only is it the Wild West, and we don't want to just put our picture out to everyone, but like, okay, I'll put my pictures out there. And when we look at men, we look, we read the profile. We look at the photos. We read the profile. Uh, we have our search radius usually set to like 10 miles, maybe 15 miles. And if the, the guy has to be at least an 8 out of 10, or 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. And then we might send them a like or send a comment. A lot of women are on apps where they can hide their profile so that they're not getting hit up by these men that are lazy. I'm going to call them lazy just to be kind. Because if you're, if you're sending likes, you're lazy. Guys, if you're just sending likes, you're lazy. If you haven't read the profile, you're lazy. If your search radius is more than 20 miles and you live in a big city, you're lazy. In fact, you're, you're, 
you're nobody wants you if you can't get women within your radius to like you you're lazy the way you put together your profile most of you you have no idea most of you the main profile picture should be inviting and show you in an authoritative space like in a dress shirt at the office or with your dog in the car and you should look like your car should be clean your dog should be clean and you should look well cut like get a shirt from Billabong or go to Nordstrom. Just get a decent dress shirt and don't wear sunglasses in your main photo. Look like you're going to go to a job interview or to a wedding. Like you want to present yourself well. Uh, I don't want to see dead carcasses and I don't want to see dead fish. Uh, nobody wants to see that. And I don't want to see you drinking beer on the beach because you look homeless right now. Also, the other thing on the dating apps is I'm a middle, I'm a, I would consider myself socioeconomically middle income. The really rich guys are not on there, period, but there are a lot of very poor guys on there. They look homeless and they're sending me likes and I'm grossed out. I'm physically repulsed. Okay. So that's another problem. That's why many women hide their profiles because they don't want to be seen or get likes from lazy men or homeless men. Guys who are up at 1 a.m. in the dive bar drinking Coors Light. Okay. Now, if you're poor, you should stick with women who are poor. So a lot of guys are just making us not want to be on there. So. So when women look at the, because men don't know how to put together a good profile, they get overlooked. Okay. <laughs> That's why. That's why. I once had a guy that asked me for my advice. Um, and he's like, I'll send you the pictures I took from my dating app. I'm like, sure, send me the pictures. And all six pictures were of his face standing against a blank wall. Picture one, picture two picture three, picture four, picture five, like that. I'm like, no, and just of his face. That's why, that's why it's, that's an example. <laughs> that should be so obvious what not to do. I did meet, when I wrote my book, The Fuck List, that was based on me having met on, men online and I looked for a very specific type of profile, guys who looked clean cut. For me, it was white guys, at least 5'10". I do like my men a few inches taller than I am. 5'9 would be fine too. I don't, I'm not into short guys, sorry. If that offends you, some women don't care. I like my men a little taller than I am. Strong, physically fit. And I liked him to look happy and healthy in his photos. I want him to have a good job, usually a Marine or like um, a Marine officer or um, maybe a student possibly, but like a young professional. I wanted him to, and I, I looked for men who had like outdoor photos, like they were outside hiking somewhere, like a sign of health, a sign that you're an outdoor person. Um, a picture with some friends would be good. No drinking photos. No dead fish photos. No photos where your main face is covered, <laughs> it's covered up. I want to see a photo of them like at work, doing some kind of work. A photo in the car with their dog was always nice. It shows a woman that you're nurturing, that you are that you can be responsible for someone. Like those are things that make a man attractive. And since most men write really poor profiles, and these kind of guys that I met, they can get women like that and they do. They were just on there looking for a hookup, you know. Let's get real. So the reason that women don't want to be on there is because, um, number one, um, uh, anyone can go on there. The men are not vetted. Number two, uh, we are bombarded by mostly lazy men who are kind of, uh, I always use the word trailer trash, but now I don't think that's a respectful word, but you know, 
bar flies that are maybe illiterate bar flies, um, men that are way, like a three hour drive away, sending likes, they haven't read the profile, they haven't put any effort into it and they're not choosing us and they're low quality men. I'm just gonna be honest. That's the problem. And when men are going through there, they're ruining it for themselves because they're putting up crappy profiles and they're swiping on everyone. They're like, is she hot? Can I fuck her? Is she a three out of 10? Yes. Is she a three out of 10? Yes. Oh my God, that's a 400 pound, uh, like autistic woman. No, no. Okay, is she a three out of 10? Yes. So they're swiping on everyone. And that is very unattractive. That's why, that's why the apps aren't working. Because... It's for lazy men. <laughs> they don't even want to go out and ask a woman out in real life. They, these guys that are on the apps, they're just sitting at home swiping. And that's not what women want. Okay, society has made men very lazy. It used to be in middle school that boys would ask girls to dance like it was a swing dance or whatever. And it was scary for the boys. Very, very scary. But they learned to do it. They built that muscle. Do you think I wasn't scared when I was a realtor and I went door knocking? You think I wasn't scared my first day of every day in college walking into new class? Or I was even scared a few months ago when I went to this new gym because I'd always worked out with a trainer. Like we have to overcome our fears and that's what women look for, a man with courage. And that's why women like that romance hero, the guy on the horse that rides off or the Marlboro Cowboy take away the cigarettes, or the Lumberjack. He's got courage, he's got strength, and he's got social skills. That's what we want. We don't want some lazy guy sitting shirtless on the beach. He look. Some of these guys on the app look fucking homeless. I'm gonna be honest, they look homeless because they're shirtless on the beach. Like, do you have a house? And then they're just swiping and that is very unattractive to us as women. So that's why we don't want to be on there. That's why we don't want to be on there. I will say that I've been meeting a lot of people at the gym. Almost every day when I go to the gym, I talk to someone. Whether it's ladies or men, just in passing. I think gyms are really great places to strike up conversations. I think we have to take the chance. And people sometimes come up to me and start talking to me at this gym where I go. It could be women, it could be a man. Uh, they just start talking to me. They seize a moment. They come up to me and say something or they seize a moment and they say something. And that's what we have to do. We have to seize the moment in real life. I think the dating apps were a really good experience because it seems on the surface to be so convenient. Like, well, I'm working from home. I haven't met anyone. So let me just get on this app and see who's out there. But we forgot that women are attracted to men who show courage, who actually have the courage to approach us in real life. We want to see how you move. We want someone who's vetted where we can tell that he's safe and kind and has social skills. And we want him to show interest in us. And on, those can only be done in real life. That can only be done in real life. Now, I know what you're going to say. All your best friends got married and they met on dating apps. I'm exaggerating. I know there are people who meet on there. I think it's very rare. And I think it's getting more and more rare. I have heard of people who met on those apps. But I've also... All the people I know who are married, and I'm talking about like among younger people, people are getting married, they all met in real life. They met through friends, or they met at school, or they met at church. Um, they met at work. They met in real life. That, I still think, is the way, main way that people meet. I think some people, when they give, when they give those statistics that 40% of our relationships start online. They're including social media. They're including Facebook and Instagram and all of that. And I think people can meet that way by having someone, like having their DMs open and having somebody go into their DMs. 
To me, that is, call me old school, call me too old fashioned. To me, that is so unappealing. I don't, I don't make myself available to men to slide into anything, okay? <laughs> don't slide into my body. Don't slide into my DMs. It's, I'm not open for that. And I don't slide into men's DMs either. Because the guy, the kind of guys that I find attractive, they're not a, they're never available anyway. Because I, I look sometimes online. But anyway, I know people can meet in all these ways. But I do not know anyone who met online. Do you? Do you know anyone who met online who's married? Because I don't. I don't. I know people have met online to hook up. Um, actually, I know, I'm to think about it. I know one person who met her husband on, I know a couple people met on Match.com. Uh, and they, these two couples met within a few days of being on Match.com and then they were off. I think Match.com is more for people who are a little bit more serious because you have to pay um, but, uh, it, it, it's not for me. I, I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. And I think the fact that there's so few women on there tells you that women in general are not a fan of it. So that's my, uh, that's my reason. I guess in summary, it's mostly because, um, the men who are on there are acting lazy they're not putting effort into their profiles and they're not reading our profiles and they're swiping on everyone and sending likes. These are major, major repulsive turnoffs to me. You haven't read my profile. You're sending me a like. Now you're just a piece of crap shit, nobody. And now I'm just repulsed by you. Seriously, that's how I feel. That repulsed. And I kept thinking, what's wrong with me? How can I enjoy these apps? And I would go on there for a couple days. And then maybe I would send someone a message and the guy wouldn't even reply. I'm like, why are you on here if you're not going to interact and reply? Why are you going to match with me and not send a message? It has set up a lot of this ghosting behavior where so many guys ghosted me that I started thinking, I guess that's how, I guess we're supposed to ghost each other. That's the new way to behave. And that's not the kind of person I want to be. There is, you know, people in real life are less likely to ghost each other. It's not a, um, people are not, not only are people unvetted in terms of their identity, but they're also invented in terms of why they're even on there. You could have married people on there. You could have people on there who only come on once a month. You could have old profiles on there. And it leads to a lot of disappointment, a lot of feeling annoyed. It's not fun. It's not fun. Now, when I was on there 2013 to 2015, I think it was all better. I think it's just gone more and more downhill as people have become more and more lazy. Especially if you're a guy who's under 5'10", you definitely shouldn't be on there because women don't have a lot to go on. So if your profile isn't great and you're short, forget it. You're gonna have to make up for your shortness in other real life characteristics, like you have good social skills, you're interesting, you're funny. Um, you know, hey, some people are just born good looking and they have a lot more options. So short men are going to have it harder. And can they get married? Yes, they can. But you're not going to be the cream of the crop unless you're super funny or some other redeeming characteristics, which you can't show on, on there. So that's what I think. I think that all the great features of being a man, your masculinity, your strength, your courage, you know, the, 
the stories you tell, the jokes you tell, the energy you put into things and how you move, all of those things about you, we can only see in real life. And unless you know how to market yourself in a really good profile and read the women's profiles and send personalized messages, women just don't really want it, I think. At least I don't. So I think it was a good social experiment. I think that has gone awry and I'm starting to think more about just real life places where I can just talk to people. And for me, the gym is a really good place because Pilates and Versa Climber class, it's all ladies. Um, even in the pool, whether I'm in the pool, or I'm doing weights, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a good place to talk to people. And if I owned a gym, I would actually do a singles night or a singles afternoon where I would have single people come and do some kind of like a class for singles or something to give people, you know, I think a lot of businesses could do singles nights or singles afternoons. If you have a restaurant or a gym, anyone watching this, if you have a restaurant or a gym or coffee shop or some kind of a business, you could actually have a singles afternoon where you have single people come and you do some icebreakers or games and do some things that make hot men come out because men are not going to go to something that's boring. Uh, it's got to be something that involves something that men want to do. Like um, maybe there's a sports game on or there's some kind of like, um, I don't know, uh, men would have to say because I've gone to events on meetup.com and only loser men are there the hot guys are not there they're not going to stuff like that they're at the whiskey bars the cigar bars the auto shows the games i really don't know they're at the gym probably the gym is the best place to do it so uh, but I want to know what you think. What is your experience of dating apps? What do you think is the problem with them? Why do you think women don't want to be on there? And yeah, I, I, I will tell you that the guys that I meet in my bookkeeping appointments that have a lot going on and that can get women, they're not on there unless they're looking for a hookup, <laughs> pretty much. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. You guys have to learn to talk to women in real life. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Let me continue. Because we don't want... That's another thing. If you're so lazy and so shy that you can't even leave the house and talk to a woman or talk to me in real life and you just want to be lazy and swiping on your phone, why would I want you? That's a turn off to me as a woman. A man who is afraid to talk to people is a liability to me. Liability, because I talk to people. If you're afraid to talk to people, you have no courage and you're a coward. You're afraid of me. You can't even talk to me. You're a liability. I don't want you. You you haven't, you, you got to bring something to the table. You got to bring your energy and just sitting back and swiping. That's porn. That's what I should say. I should call this video. Okay. A dating app, it's porn for men because men just want to look at the pictures and swipe like they're looking at porn because they're just looking at women they could fuck is she fuckable 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 you're looking for fuckable you're not reading the profiles it's just for your porn whereas women are going on they are looking for a romance hero a marlboro cowboy without the marlboros a lumberjack a guy with a good job he's got a dog who's happy he's out hiking and doing stuff he has a job he has friends we actually read the profile. Uh, so we're looking for a romance hero and you're looking for a porn star and that's the difference. And that's why the wires are crossed. That's, that's, that's the problem. Um, men who are afraid to talk. That's another thing. Uh, I do know my ex-husband started the conversation with me. I always like it when a man starts a conversation with me and initially starts by talking to me because it proves to me that he has courage because that 
Nobody really wants to start a conversation with a stranger, so it shows courage. And number two, it shows his interest in me. Okay? The only guys who talk to me that are a liability are these guys that talk to everyone. I've seen those guys at the gym. They just give a hi to everyone. Hey, how are you? It means nothing. The, 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 the guys at the gym will actually talk to me in an intentional way that has to do with some workout we're doing. That's better rather than the guy, hey, how are you? They say it to everyone. It's meaningless. Liability. Get the fuck out of here. I tell those guys, I don't want to talk to you. So, initiating a conversation with me is how I feel. Shows you have courage and you're bringing this masculine strength, directing it at me. That is so opening. That is so attractive. I cannot tell you, having a man who is purposeful, not just saying hi to everyone, but a guy, I can tell energetically if a guy is just like a loser player or, you know, a guy who's got his shit together. A guy who's got his shit together, approaching me with the conversation, being interested in me, that's, that's what I like. And that's not available online. It's the opposite. It's the guy. It's the player guys. It's 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 the losers who say hi to everyone. That's what's online. A lot of riffraff. That's why I won't. I I'll never go back online again. I'm I'm. It's just. I'm physically repulsed by the whole experience. It's gross. Ugh. But there was a guy at the gym the other day, and he took an opportunity and, this he's inspired me to make so many videos. I don't even know his name, but. He took an opportunity and he was extremely um, courageous. He had good social skills and he was a contribution to me at the gym. And uh, he was friendly and he had courage and good social skills. Young guy. And I keep thinking about how he initiated being a contribution, how he took the chance, how he initiated, how he was so giving in a strong way, not a simpy way. And that really inspired me to be more giving to people and made me think about him, how he treated me compared to those guys online and why my reaction was so different. Why these guys made me feel repulsed and this guy made me feel so inspired. If I see this guy again, I'm going to tell him, you know, how much that meant to me. Yeah, he he definitely, definitely had an open heart. And, um, you know, a lot of guys at the gym won't even talk to me. They'll look at me, but they won't talk to me because they're shy. So they're insignificant, you know, it's fine. But you want to get a woman, you want to get a woman who has standards and who doesn't cheat on you and throw herself at every Tom, Dick, or Harry. You need to have be a guy who, who meets the criteria of a woman like me. I'm telling you what a woman like me who doesn't cheat on men who values men, what I look for. I'm old school. I was born in 1961. So I hope this video is helpful to you. All I'm saying is take that same energy, guys, that you use at your job to lift stuff at the gym and put it towards talking to a woman that you're actually interested in. That's what we want. We want to be chosen by a guy who's got his life in order. That's what we want. And that's why dating apps are not. Because men don't choose. They just swipe on everything with a vagina. It's a vagina swiping app. We shouldn't call it a dating app. We should call it a vagina swiping app because there are not that many women on there. There's not very much dating happening. People are not going on dates. It's just men. It's vagina hunters. It's grinder for, 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 for straight men. This is what they're looking for. Looking for pussy. They don't want to put any effort in because 
if you guys don't want to put effort in, you're not going to get any women. Okay, so forget the dating app, put that stuff away and figure out how to start talking to women because you obviously didn't learn it in middle school if you're on there and you're swiping me and you're all the way in Los Angeles, which is two hours in mild traffic and three or four hours in heavy traffic. And there's no guy in the world. Even if my kids lived in Los Angeles, I would only go once every four months. That's how much I hate the drive. It's horrible. But I got all these guys like, oh, you ran out of women in Los Angeles, so now you're swiping on me. Obviously, you're a loser. So that's why I made a video yesterday about guys in real life, people in real life versus people online, because people in real life are actually super interesting and super engaging. It's the online people, the vagina swipers. <laughs> I should call this video vagina swiping. That's what it is. That's why guys are on there. They're looking for vaginas. They don't want, that's why they're not reading our profiles. Like I can get that vagina. If I just swipe on a lot of vaginas, maybe one vagina will want me. Even if she's a three out of 10, I don't care. I want to get laid. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. <laughs>